Welcome back, treasures, to another unboxing of Sugar Muse's Midnight Muse's box. This is the March 2023 box. Let's jump in and see what's inside. If you like witchy unboxings and crafting content, be a treasure and hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date on all the new videos. Okay, it looks like this month's box has a theme of Astara, Persephone's Return. So this page usually tells us the contents of the box and some kind of little ritual that we can do with what's in the box. Ooh, there is some gorgeous artwork. I'm loving these flowers that are here. Has that nice kind of dark vintage look to it. Every month there's also some kind of card, a tarot or oracle card, and I really like this very shimmered gold on here in this nice pattern. Okay, and so it, oh goodness, continues that to the front of the card. This is very pretty. This is a raw amethyst necklace. Very nice. Here is a little satchel that looks like it has some flowers and possibly some stones in there as well. I do see quite a few little stones in here. I can't really tell what they are. It smells so good. Let me see if the box contents tell us what this is. This is the Persephone Botanical and Gemstone Blend Sachet. It contains jasmine, chives, angel wings, elderberry, and peacock ore, fluorite, and ruby gemstones. Well, that is nice, and it smells wonderful. Let's see what's in this nice bubble wrap. Here we have Persephone's Garden Ritual Oil. This oil contains patchouli, vetiver, geranium, and pink pepper essential oils in an almond oil base. I'm loving this artwork that's on the front. And it's in a nice little roller ball. It smells so good. It is a little greasy, so some of the oil has gotten outside of the package. So I'm just going to set it back on there so it doesn't get my fabric dirty. It smells so good. Let's see. There is Persephone's Garden Botanical Soy Candle. Ooh, and it's all sparkly. It smells so good. This hand poured soy candle was created to, prom to promote renewal, and it is infused with 
currant, rose, and patchouli notes. I, I love this so much. I wish I had a giant candle. Next, we have what looks like Lady Grey Organic Earl Grey Tea. We have some ingredients here. Black tea, cornflower petals, and natural bergamot flavoring. Well, that is going to be fantastic. And it looks like you can see a very nice dark color, so it's probably a very nice rich flavor. We have some spring equinox incense. They have kind of a stronger musty scent. It doesn't really say what the scent is from this, but it's a lot stronger scent than either the oil or the candle. It still smells good though. Along with the tea, which I just love, they always include a little bag for brewing. And last but probably not least, Look at this gorgeous little trinket box with roses all over it. How pretty is that? Very nice. This beautiful little box was the inspiration for this month's Midnight Muses. I can just imagine the flowers blooming upon Persephone's return. She has ascended from the underworld, and after six months, she still carries some of it with her. The first roses and flowers that bloom around her are dark ruby red, almost black. As she spends time with her mother, both of their moods lighten, and the flowers begin to take on a more vivid colors, pinks, purples, and yellows. Use this small box to charge small magical items, jewelry, or written spells. How nice is that? Oh, I'm loving this. That is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item? I think mine is either the amethyst necklace, the soy candle, or the trinket box. Everything is so wonderful this month. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure and hit that playlist. Until next time, treasures, keep crafting.